Hello everyone. Today's session is about file folder sharing. So Center Stack is a managed file sync and share solution. So share file sharing and folder sharing are one of the core competency. To get started, let's log into the web portal. A lot of the sharing can get initiated from the web portal, but it doesn't have to. You can do the sharing from context menu from Windows Explorer as well, from the Windows client. So now let's upload some nice pictures. So let's say our use case is to share some nice pictures with our friend, some nice beach pictures. And you know, one of the options you can just send this, zip it up and send it over using email. But let's say nowadays with you know, nice cameras and the pictures potentially could be big and could be blocked by, by email. So now we can do sync and share without a you know, big attachment. So, so now we right click the folder and then we start the sharing process. So this time around, we're going to be just sharing the pictures. The other side, the receiver can take a look, but the receiver will not be able to modify. So we pick continue as it is now. So that's our um, option for now. And then we want to protect the share um, a little bit. So we say, you know, it's, it's going to be password protected. And then we are going to be telling the password over another channel, like maybe I'm going to, going to call Zag and let him know the password. So now let's log in as a different user in Google Chrome. In reality, Zag is going to receive this from his computer away from us, but for demonstration, everything will be demoed from one single PC here. So. We use different browser to simulate different user. So now the share invitation was received. So if you look at the, click the following link to see the folder, you're, you're going to notice it's some kind of NetBIOS form, right? So that may not work um, if the sharing is outside of the company uh, boundary. And you may run into this quite often if it's the very first time you installed Center Stack and you start you know, testing out the sharing feature. So if that's the case, you just go to the cluster worker node and change the external URL. So external URL is like you know a given name to the Center Stack instance, right? So uh, for now, you can use IP address, but you know later on you may want to use a DNS name, and later on you may have SSL to go with the DNS. So then you can enable HTTPS. So after we changed the external URL, we can now resend the sharing email. So as you can see, another email come in. And this time it's changed to IP address. So now if I click on it, it's going to click through to a web browser portal. And then um, the owner of the share communicate the password over a different channel. And then um, the receiver comes in and he can see the you know pictures, right? So he can immediately share large amount of uh, files and folders to a receiver without a big email attachment. So that's use case number one. You share something to um, a colleague or a business party and you don't expect them to be able to modify the content. So that was use case number one. So now let's go ahead and um, do the use case number two when let's say the receiver wants to edit the file. So then what shall we do? We created a folder uh, which is called editable and we are creating a shared doc 
a very simple text document that we are going to be putting into this folder and share the folder out to um, other user and expect them to be able to modify. So if you are following along um, with your new, brand new center stack installation, you can put any content you want into the dock. So this is Microsoft Edge browser. It's going to you know, prompt, but that prompt can be safe, you know, safely um, dismissed. So now let's take a look and we can start the sharing again. So exact same sharing process to start with, uh, putting the user's email address, putting the note, and this time we say, hey, Zach, uh, please edit this document. So, so now instead of say continue as it is now, we will say add user as a guest user. So I, I know we'd recommend just say that system generate password, that would be very strong. And then, you know, ask user to change password at next doggone. So the two options are very good options. That's already checked for you. But for, you know, for, for me, for the demo, um, just, you know, create some very simple password for simplicity. So now the share has been done. And this share, we expect Zach to be able to add it. So now come back to Zach and Zach received yet another invitation. And this time together, there's a welcome email. So now a guest user account has been created for Zach. So in the system here, there are two different types of account. One is the regular account. It has home storage, has quota, and has everything. And the other type of account is the guest user account, which the user can log in, but the user can only work inside the assigned folder, the sharing folder. So now you can see the user has uh, uh, two folders. One was one previously shared to him, and then one is the one we just shared um, uh, just now. And both are showing up, right? Because as soon as we create a guest user account, it's going to remember what has been shared prior to the creation of the guest user account, so you can see both. But the two were shared a little bit different, so um, then we can see what's going on. But now you can see we're not allowed, so what's going on? We're going to be you know, checking and see if, why this user cannot uh, share, cannot upload files yet. So now let's check the uh, folder permission here, or the sharing permission. So. The user email looks okay. And, oh, let's see, it's view download only instead of edit full control. So we need to change that to edit full control to be able to give the uh, the outside user the ability to, to upload. So now that has been fixed. And now let's come back here and try it again. It's still not allowed. Maybe we need a refresh, right? So let's try it again. Okay, it's confirmed. It's still not allowed. So let's go up one folder, do a refresh and come back. And now we are allowed to, to upload and then it becomes V2. So now I shared something with Zach and Zach is able to upload. So and modify, I modify editable. So these are good. So the use case, and you can see on the activity panel that you can see what has been changed and changed by whom. So this is all good. So now that's use case number two. You share something with an external user and expect the external user to be able to edit and up, update the documents. So now, Use case number three, what if you want to share with internal user and you want to share with a group of internal user? So let's say you have Active Directory users and you want to share with a specific Active Directory user group. So before we do that, let's set up the Active Directory first. So Active Directory is a per tenant concept. So you could 
Um, this is a multi-tenant system here in center stack. So uh, for each and every tenant, they can connect to Active Directory. So multi-tenant, um, multi-Active Directory. So let's just set it up. And it's connected. So no message is good message and it's good. So now go to add users. We can now import some users from the Active Directory. So do we have ACME4? No, okay. So what do we have? We have okay, we have ACME3 and we have ACME U1 and U2. Okay, so let's import two users. We don't need to send a welcome email because it's a testing. Uh, so that's fine, commit, that's fine. So two users were created. So now let's say we want to share the same pictures folder to everybody in the domain group. So that, you know, what, what can we do? So before the sharing, like external sharing is always to um, user's email, right? So now we want to do an add user and then there's group uh, option checked. So we are going to say domain users. And the domain users was found and it says, you know, angle bracketed group. So that means it's an active directory group that was discovered. So now we shared this pictures folder with an Active Directory group. So, so now that's um, using yet another browser. This time we're going to be using uh, Firefox. So let's use Firefox to log in as one of the Active Directory user and see if he receives the shared pictures. And as you can see here, I can log in as an Active Directory user using the short form uh, ND4 name, right? So it's a convenience feature that you don't have to type in a long, long email or UPN, universal principle name. You can just use your log, you know, NT logging name and then you could log in. And after you log in, you see there's a team folder and then there's a pictures team folder inside and you can uh, share, right? So now as a quick review, for Active Directory users, you can see um, share to a use Active Directory group. And for external users, you can do the share. For internal users, you can do the publish. So the publish is very similar to network share. And the sharing um, you know, in the old Windows uh, local area network, you know, there's network share. So that maps to publish team folder, but um, in the old NT, you know, local area network, there's no like ex external sharing. You cannot share like a Windows file server to external parties. But now with center stack, you can, you can map a file server in and then you can share it out uh, to other users. So, you know, internal active directory user sharing and external um, peer to peer file sharing. Thank you.